Lysias was an Indo-Greek king, a sub-king under Manendra. Meaning of Lysias is the invincible. He was a successor to Menander and therefore may have ruled around 125 BCE. He is most likely descendant of Demetrius. Lysias rule seems to have begun after the murder of Menander's infant son Thrason. The Bactrian kingdom had fallen to invading nomads and though the Indo-Greeks managed to survive, the case of Lysias is interesting in this context. Elephant on one of his types gives the location of his subkingdom in Capist, Heracles, the Euthydi mid-family god, figures on all the types of Lysias. On one type the king wears elephant scalp, the well-known headdress of Demetrius. On another, he wears a corsia, reminding us of Antimachus Theos. Thus, there is no doubt that Lysias belonged to the family of Demetrius. Most of the monograms found on his coins are commonly found on the coins of Menander. Two of his monograms, e.g. number 17 and 18 are also found on the coins of Strato. Only one of his monograms, e.g. No. 36, is absent from the coins of Menander and Strato. Again all his monograms, except No. 17 are found on the coins of Antiochidas, even Heliocles believed to be the latter's father, shares the monograms and no. 115 with Lysias, community of monograms on their coins shows that the firms which were formerly minting coins for Menander, Lysias and Strato, began at a later date to mint for Heliocles and Antiochidas. This conclusion agrees with the known history of Capisa. Shortly after Menander's death, Strato lost this district to Heliocles who was succeeded by Antiochidas. An overstrike of the latter on a coin of Lysias further confirms the fact that Antiochidas succeeded this king in these parts. All this evidence points to the fact that Lysias was a sub-king of Menander at Capisi. He possibly survived the latter for some time and continued to serve under Strato I. On all his coins, his bust is that of a young man. His reign, therefore, must have been a short one. A great difficulty has been created in reconstructing the story of Lysias by a solitary coin in British Museum. It is supposed to be a joint issue of Lysias and Antiochidas. The type is observation. Colon bust of bearded Heracles to our dot legend, Anictoevus Pilei and palms of the Diosurui. Legend, Maharaja Shajayat Harasa Amtilikitasa. This coin has excited considerable attention. Dr. Taran in particular has made a lot of speculation on it. He states that it indicates some sort of rapprochement between the two rival Greek families. The logicality of this view is obvious. The presence at Capisi of a Euthydi mid-contemporary of Antiochidas is historical nonsense. On Dr. Tan's hypothesis, Sir John Marshall aptly remarks when a coin bears the names of kings, without any indication of their relationship, it is natural to suppose that the king named on the obverse is the more important and senior of the two. It is hardly credible that a local princeling, reigning somewhere in the bills, would have the hardihood to relegate the great Antiochi thus to an inferior position on the reverse of the coins, which was struck in the latter's own mint and circulated in his territories. Dr. A. K. Narain seems to be correct when he says that this coin may well be a mule. The existence of a joint issue of these two kings could only be confirmed by the discovery of further specimens. This coin may well be a spurious one, but if genuine. The following is the only logical explanation. As a result of a mistake in the workshop of a firm, formerly minted for Lysias, an old die got mixed up with the new ones. When adjusting them the workmen hurriedly compared the obverse and reverse dies, noticing that the first two words on the obverse die, for example Baksiane, Aniktoe, agreed with the first two words on the reverse die, e.g. Maharaja Shajai Dharasa. He was satisfied with his selection. He did not bother to read the names of the kings, little suspecting that an unwanted obverse die had got mixed up with those of Antielki Das. Thus a mule was produced. A mistake of this type can be repeated.